I've been uh, been a teacher now, gym teacher for a number of years. Um, you have to you have to be quite tough with the kids. If you're not tough with them, they don't get the medal. You know what I mean? You want the medal? You gotta be tough. Run! You run! 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 I'm glad you came to film me today, actually, because uh, it's important people know how important it is. You! You! Get out of here! What's your name? By Aaron, sir! Drop! Give me 20! 20! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5! <sighs> what is wrong with you, you slug? I told you 20! I did not say 19! I said 20! You think I got this medal from doing 19? This medal! Olympic medal! 20! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I can't do it anymore. Keep doing them! Keep doing them! I know! 8, I can't. 9, 10! No. Okay, go! When I was in grade, I don't, I don't remember, actually remember what grade it was, but it was elementary school. And all through elementary school, we had this changing card system thing, where, you, where depending on how long you took to get changed, you'd get a card. And then that would tell you how many laps you had to run around the gym. And nobody wanted the red card, which was the last one, right? And then that meant you had to run like five or eight laps, some ridiculous amount before gym started. And you'd hate to be that person who'd have to run all the laps because all the other students are waiting, right? It was just this dumb system, but I always, always, always got the red card. So one time I was bound to determine that I was not going to get the red card and everyone was, and you know, hold up the class and everyone was going to look at me and be mad at me. So I changed as fast as I could. My friend also was there and she, she never told me. So I changed and then I ran out there and I was so happy because I got like the orange card which meant it was like halfway down the middle of the line and I've never gotten that before. So I took the orange card and I started running around the gym and I guess I was used to people, you know how you know how you feel people looking at you and I was used to that. But I wasn't used to people yelling, <laughs> yelling at me and it wasn't until I did like my second lap but I probably maybe only had to do three that I realized that I had forgotten to change. I really, I ran out there in like my underwear. The most embarrassing story was when we were about to play hockey and I went up to the coach and I asked him, uh, what am I supposed to do? And he said, be goalie. Now I had no idea what that meant. And so I said, what do you mean? And he said, just be goalie. I was like, well, I'm not going to get anything like from, for, like from this guy. Like, he, he just does not understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. what, what I'm trying to say. So I go over to the net. <laughs> I thought the object of being a goalie was to get the puck into the net. So I spent the entire gym class like maneuvering so that the puck would get into the net. I said run! You! Run! 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 You think I get that medal for doing nothing? I get that medal for working out! Working out constantly! Look at me! Look at that muscle! You get that muscle for doing nothing? No! You get the metal for doing nothing? No! How many do I have to lift until I can eat the can? You gotta eat the can! 20! 20! I can't do it. Give me 20! I wanna eat it! You lazy, useless bastards! Give me 20! I can't do it. Oh, that's oh, I hate you people, you maggots! You slugs! You better give me 20 now. I don't care if you're pregnant. You better give me 20. Move that neck. Move that neck. You better move that neck. Don't worry about your damn hair. Let's see the push-ups. You can do it. Yeah, let's see it. The baby doesn't like it. I don't care what the damn baby likes. Give me 20 damn push-ups. 